In this tutorial, you will learn how to deploy Reviet with local auto scaling, embedding, and generative models all within the same Kubernetes cluster. Reviet is a vector search engine that can integrate seamlessly with QPI's deployed embedding and generative models. This works because QPI exposes, exposes an OpenAI compatible endpoint. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to use both QPI and Reviet in the same Kubernetes cluster. And then we're going to configure Weviet to use the QPI compatible OpenAI endpoint. Um, why would you want to do this? Well, some, some companies, they care about security and privacy, and they want to keep all data local within their environment. Um, by using this, you can deploy everything locally in your Kubernetes cluster, so your data never leaves your infrastructure. For this tutorial, we're only going to use CPU only mode. So it should work even on your laptop. You should be able to follow along with this video and get it working exactly the same way. If you don't have a cluster yet, you can create one using kind. And as you can see, I have a local kind cluster and there's nothing deployed right now. As you can see, I have a local kind cluster and there's nothing deployed right now. So first we're going to create a cube AI uh, configuration file to specify which model should be used. And we're going to define two models, one embedding model server and one generation model, which is a large language model that supports text generation. And then the way, the way we have it here is that we say the model named text embedding ADA002 will be backed by a Olama model will be backed by Olama and it will be using the nomic embed text model from Olama. Um, and then for the generation model, we're specifying for the text generation model, then it should be named GPT 3.5 turbo. And we, we're actually doing this because of uh, the way the Vivia generation model works. It, it just makes it easier to integrate with Vivia that way. We don't require using these names. These are arbitrary, but for Vivia integration, it just makes it easier. So we are backing the generation model by using the Gemma 2 2 bearing parameter model, and we're use, running it on two CPUs. And this is all running locally on my laptop where I have enough uh, CPUs to run this. So now that we have created the values file, we can install cube AI using the following command. And that should start creating the pods and the CRDs and it and it will start up and then once it starts up it will try spinning up the models because we set min replicas to one. So we always expect there to be one replica. And QPI supports auto scaling. So if you have more load on these servers then it will scale out to more replicas as needed. And you see it's already trying to start up the uh, it's already starting up the models if you take a look inside you'll see that it's for example downloading the model files and loading it and it seems it's oh yeah it's, it's still downloading so it, it takes a little bit and the same should be happening for uh, the embedding server it's also downloading but once it's done we expect the pods to return uh, ready one one for both of these. So let's get let's continue with the Reviet part because as the next step we're going to deploy Reviet in the same Kubernetes namespace and these are the Reviet files we're going to use. We're using the text to vec OpenAI module because we can just override the base URL to point to the QPI OpenAI compatible endpoint. And that's what we'll see in a moment. Reviet values and I already have it here. You can remove line nine and 11 if you want to expose your Reviet outside of your Kubernetes cluster. Uh, but it, the, the two key things are is we're setting the text to vec OpenAI. We're enabling those two modules because those are required for this integration to work. And then we install Reviet by running this. And then we should see Reviet soon go up and running too. Now we can start using the Python Reviet client to create a collection 
do semantic search and then do generative short search which uses both the embedding and the generative model you can do this in a separate terminal uh, but we need to actually it's better to run that one by one uh, we need to expose we need to do a port forward to the vviate service so we can directly call it from my laptop without having to run the python vviate cl client within the same kubernetes cluster so is this the way to access the services that we have deployed and everything is up and running so we should now be good to try the rest uh, we're going to create a virtual environment and then we're going to just install the vviate client in there and then we're going to create a file named createcollection.py and that's to create the vviate collection and there's two key parts in this collection we're going to configure the vectorizer to be using the text embedding ADA02 model which we defined earlier in our QPI model configuration and this is where we tell it to use the kubeai API endpoint for sending embedding requests to. So whenever Vivian needs to, to, to generate vectors, it will, instead of sending it to the public OpenAI API endpoint, it will send us to this API endpoint instead. And then for the generative config, it's a similar way of configuring it. You specify the model and then you have to override this base URL. And this works because they're both deployed within the Kubernetes cluster. So it's accessible over the Kubernetes servers, which we defined as cube AI. If you, can, you can see it here. Uh, this is the service that we defined. And then we're simply loading some data into the uh, collection. We are using some questions from question and answers from a Vivia data set that they publish. And once done, it should print data imported successfully. So let's give that a try. Let's make sure it returns. Now, the other thing that we should be able to see is we should be able to see the embedding request in our embedding server. That's one thing that I want to show. And we do see that. You see, it's, it's getting requests to post embeddings many times. That's because we imported the data successfully. And we should also see the schema show up here, which is the schema we just created with the correct configuration that we see here as well. So now that we have configured everything correctly, we can start doing semantic search. Semantic search allows us to ask, to create a query that says, give me the questions related to biology. Let's create a file named search.py and we're going to just copy paste this content over. And this time what we expect is that for the search query, it should be converting the vectors into, it should be, sorry, for the search query, it should be converting the query into vectors and we shall see one similar uh, embedding API coin our embedding model server. So let's run this. And let's see what happens here and yes we see it pop up the embedding server and was able to serve that embedding in 186 milliseconds and we see the answer is it did return a biology related question now let's see let's do generative search which is kind of which is a rec use case and this time what we're going to do is we're going to say, give me the related questions to biology and give me two of them. Write a tweet with emojis about those two, about these facts, about the two questions that we return from the vector database. And then we print the generated text. Let's create a file generate dot pi with this content and then do the same thing. And then we expect the same thing to happen where it returns a, it, it gets an embedding request 
just like before but the thing that we expect to be different if we go to the the generative model we expect to see a chat completion API call there too that will show up in a moment there you go and then once that is finished we should see two results but this time they have been made more emotional with emojis that's it that's the tutorial of how you can get Reviet with local embedding and local generative models um, you can the, the the tutorial of how to replicate it is in the youtube description give it a try if you get stuck join our discord and happy to help